It originated because I visited South Africa in 2001 and discussed with many people what, how I as a scientist and physicist could possibly contribute to what was happening here. And the overwhelming message I heard is that South Africa faces a strategic crisis in the lack of skilled people, especially in mathematics, computing and science. And so that South Africa and Africa more generally is dependent on the outside world for every new discovery or innovation or new product. And this is no way to build a future. I think it's hard to anticipate where Ames will go because it has so greatly exceeded our expectations in the first 10 years. You know, Ames started as an experiment. We weren't sure how capable the students would be. We weren't sure of our model involving international lecturers flying in and teaching for three-week courses. We weren't sure we could sustain the project financially. We weren't sure if governments would support it. Everybody's come on board. The students have exceeded anyone's wildest hopes. Uh, we're here today hearing about the science they are doing at the cutting edge of physics, of nanotechnology, of epidemiology, um, of many other aspects of science very relevant to development. And so I think where we hope to go in the next 10 years is to build our famous 15 centers, which is quite a prospect, to graduate around a thousand young Africans every year so they become leading young scientists. We will, we will see a wave of young Africans entering high-level science, technology, maths, innovation, becoming leaders in many fields. This will transform the image of Africa and it will transform the reality of Africa. Ames is unique as a global uh, center for advanced training for many reasons. One of which is the incredible diversity of the student body. Nowhere else in the world you have 50 students from more than 20 countries. In each one of those countries the stu students represent the first or the leaders of their generation getting into science. There's a buzz, there's an anticipation, there's an expectation which is greater than any other center in the world. Nowhere else do you get lecturers from so many different countries coming to teach and giving their best because the lecturers are inspired by their task, which is to help a whole new continent get into science. They don't get that buzz at Cambridge, at Princeton, or in Canada, wherever they come from. Uh, what they sense is a historical change, and they can be part of it. So everyone gives their best, the students, the lecturers, um, and then Africa is just a unique continent. There are unique smiles, there's music, there's dancing, there's fun. And connecting all of that, the color, the vitality of Africa, connecting it to science and technical thinking is uh, truly inspirational.